Women and teen girls will soon have an easier way to access birth control. With about 3 million unintended pregnancies in the U.S. per year, the FDA says the new O-Pill will help cut down that number. Sarah Hammond joins us in the studio. Sarah, what makes this pill different? Well, the O-Pill will be available over the counter without a prescription, and it's headed to stores as we speak. It uses a single hormone and generally carries fewer side effects than the more popular combination pills. The drug itself has been around for decades, but manufacturers worked for the past nine years to make the birth control pill as easily accessible as aspirin or eye drops, something longtime pharmacist Dr. Anna Peoples says is a good thing. One of the problems that people have with their birth control is access. This will give people greater access. The Food and Drug Administration approved the drug last July, saying the once a day O pill can be sold without a prescription with no age restrictions. But People says in the current political climate, she's surprised it's happening. With all the controversy in the media and everywhere else around rep women's reproductive rights, I think this is definitely a move forward. Hormonal birth control pills have always required a prescription, typically so doctors can screen for conditions that raise the risk of rare but dangerous blood clots. People says it's still a good idea to talk to your doctor or pharmacist before taking the medication. Just because it's over the counter and you can get it freely willy, you still don't want to just arbitrarily just take it. People says they are expecting their shipment of the pill next week. Who have already ordered it. We're already on the books to receive it. I feel like it's something I think is very positive. I, I, I really like the ideal and I'm glad that we have it in addition to the plan B. So this will give women another choice. A one-month supply will cost about $20, and a three-month supply will cost around $50, according to the company's suggested retail price. And it will also be sold online. All right, thanks so much, Sarah. Before I let you go, are there any health concerns we should all know about when it comes to this O-pill? Well, one concern raised by FDA advisors was whether people taking this medication will adequately screen themselves for potential medical risks. But ultimately, the FDA said those risks were minimal compared to the benefits of preventing unwanted pregnancies. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Sarah.